a black women want to come to say a few things and the whole thing is that we as black women really have to understand that this economy literally feeds off of our backs they need us to have children to grow their economy and be used by everybody that owns a business or who works in government that pushes bills and gets lobbyists to lobby for things that benefit whites with money and all other non-black people. The thing we have to remember as black women is that in order for us to rise as a group of women, we have to put aside that thinking of I'm a woman first and adopt I'm black first and then I represent I care about and I advocate for black women on a whole this government this country does not recognize individuals who claim to be whatever they are they rep recognize groups of people and you do know that and I'm saying this because whenever I do speak facts about how this country works and some of the ways that black women should um, modify their thinking, I'm always accused of hating on some particular person or group of people that don't really exist. By that, I mean the divestor women have an issue with understanding that what you do is not who you are, right? And when I speak my truth about what I see in the faults and the behavior of black women collectively on this um, social media platform, that is just what it is. They don't look out for black women on a the whole. They look out for individual black women they only like. They're very immature with a very click-minded mindset. Those things that are not advantageous to us and actually makes life a lot difficult for us, especially when we're trying to, or should be voting in a collective block towards black women's progression and our political empowerment. So when I see ridiculous people online, even down to celebrities that no one should be paying attention to like Amber Rose and others, people simply read so many other idiots I saw trying to promote Trump, right? You need to remember that these black people have sold themselves and you out. They do not care about the black woman that's working below minimum wage or working with a minimum wage where she can barely afford her bills, her rent, or to feed her children. That person they're not concerned with. So when they come up and they're promoting these slogans and these campaigns for these people who are very harmful to the rest of us, as we have seen through history and not just through individual opinion. When you look at the damage Trump has done in regards to women's rights, it should be a non-brainer that you look at things and go, yeah, I like this person as an entertainer and this person needs to stay in their lane as an entertainer and entertain only. Allow me to make the appropriate decision for myself and not get caught up on things that are happening currently that ultimately in the long term will still be going on. But you got to think about all things at one time. And when I, just, when I said that, what I really meant was don't get so caught up in the Gaza thing because that is not going to stop until either other countries that are Muslim get involved and just destroy that whole war, or there is a complete ceasefire or permanent peace agreement. So what you do instead to make a difference in that is to boycott all those companies that support Israel and support the killing of Palestinian women, children, and men. And then when you go to the ballot in every election up to the, the great one or the presidential election in November, you vote against every white, whether it be woman or man, 
racist in this country that believes that black people are supposed to suffer number one and everyone else of color should not ever be allowed to live the lives that they live and therefore they create laws that take away our freedom and autonomy over our own bodies and they stop real diversity and real inclusion while we're thinking about a lot of those things hold on please while we're thinking about a lot of those things what we also have to think about is that going forward every day of this year and every other year after we have to start enforcing our I'm waiting for these people to pass, okay? We have to start enforcing our representation in everything. The same way white women do in others. When you look at the things that's going on recently in YouTube with the influencers, with the different people right now whose platforms are booming outside of the token few black women that are older and who have been here forever, like their name is Methuselah, right? You never see a full representation of our full age range. It's always 20 something or nothing at all. And so we as black women need to understand that we play a heavy role in the economic generation of revenue for this country. And when we don't see ourselves rep represented fully and given the same opportunity to be fully monetized and also given the same amount of promotions by di different companies so that for every influencer or every every sphere of social media where people can be marketed and paid and monetized if that if we're all not given a fair chance we need to start boycotting these people and these companies the same way you did Eben the other thing you have to do too is start holding these black women accountable that are actually taking these offers and throwing other black women and people under the bus because without us supporting them they don't have anything at all so it is their responsibility and obligation not to only just look out for self but to understand that if you're given an opportunity right to open up the door and open up the pathway for, to allow other black women into those same areas you're in that's what you're supposed to do that's what has always been done and that is the reason why everybody black from wherever they can come come over here and piggyback and take advantage of all of the advantages American black people have opened the door and made an opportunity for them to to reap off of so You have to understand that you got to make these changes and you got to stop being so Immature when it comes to thinking and stubborn and growing your intellect and analyzing yourself for different ways and areas of self-efficacy where you become your best self and all these things long term consequently will change the amount of black women that live in poverty stay in poverty are born into poverty grow up and are baby trapped by these loser dudes that want to use women as their personal social services when you do all of those things i just spoke about all of those negatives that we know of that are everyday factor in our lives they are significantly reduced and eventually will be completely omitted one day if we keep working on ourselves building the sisterhood that we need stop all of this separation and us versus them calling other women names that they shouldn't be called like those antebellum <laughs> slave names and understanding that if there's a group of women that you just need to leave alone leave them alone but when you work politically active for the progression of black women on a whole 
you fight for what you believe your group needs but don't fight to hurt another group of black women because in the end that hurts all of us and that's called maturity so when you see people on here always only thinking about themselves and constantly economically exploiting black women you have to start recognizing things for what they are calling those women out and demanding change because then and only then will all age black women who come on any of these platforms be given the same opportunity as whites hispanics and others and if you don't understand that that's really what you should be out here doing as a black woman then I, I don't know what's wrong with you and I don't think there's anything I could say can help you. Because we really gotta get past all of this Willie, Willie Lynch type mentality where every black woman is an enemy just because she doesn't think the same as you, act the same as you or believe as you do. That's totally fine. As long as we all agree on one thing, that we all supposed to be out here fighting for the progression and political empowerment of black women. Um. Like I said, I'll come speak only when I feel I need to speak. I'll be taking a trip soon in a few weeks to Missouri to visit my son in the military. I will share that with you. Then after that, I will be taking that trip that I told y'all about to London without my girlfriend because she doesn't want to go. She wants to wallow in self-pity and I cannot stop her. So I will chronicalize that as well. And when I'm doing those things, I will share my tips and also show you how you don't need to be an influencer to travel the world, have a good time, and also begin to recognize and ask for the promotion and promote black women who have all types of products that can be sold to other black women so that we empower them and they in turn empower us so that there really comes a day where we don't need to reach out to white companies for promotional offers or any type of monetization to be on platforms like this. We can work towards the empowerment of ourselves by ourselves. And that really is key. So y'all really need to drop all of that hate for your fellow black women and start picking up some love, understanding and empathy and start fighting the good fight towards all of our equalities and full equity economically in this country. Have a good day.